Welcome to my channel, Hot Wheels RLC fans. Today I have an unboxing of the Hot Wheels 2024 Redline Club 1993 Mazda RX-7 R1 in Spectre Flame Red. It features an opening hood with a detailed rotary engine, a black metal base, and a painted silver exhaust. And one of the controversial aspects of this car is that for some reason the blister isn't glued down all the way. I don't know why that is. It's very, very strange. Apparently it's happening to everybody. Hot Wheels just forgot to glue the blister down. A lot of carded collectors I think are very disappointed, possibly. I don't care because I'm going to be opening it. This card is unglued. I'm going to be opening mine, obviously. Trying not to scratch the car underneath. Definitely makes it more of a pain in the ass. It's definitely some rubbing. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. It's a little frustrating. There's the detailed engine. Looks very nice. This Spetch of Flame Red is definitely kind of different. What the hell is that? Is that a freaking scratch in the paint? Oh my God. I don't know what that black thing is though. Anyways, this car looks very, very nice indeed. Wow, this Spectra Flame Red really is awesome. Very, very nice. Really nice car. Um, the only thing it's missing is the door handles should be painted black. There should be a tampo there for them. I can't believe that Hot Wheels is, you know, at this level of car is not fully tampering everything. They had to redo this casting because the regular RX-7 does not have those door handles as part of the metal of the car. It's part of the window. This casting has a separate piece for the spoiler, which is very interesting. Apparently mine has a spot on the spoiler, so that's lovely. You know, I expect perfection, but apparently that's too much to ask for. I will go over the differences between the Car Culture FD Mazda RX-7 and this one, and we will find out what all the differences are between all of the cars, because obviously this is a new casting. 